Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm the editor of Powder Room and I thought I'd take the opportunity today to kick off our top drawer series by going through some of the products that have been getting me through the pandemic. So, I'm going to start with these Nip and Fab Glycolic Daily Cleansing Pads. These are something that I saw recommended by Bambi Does Beauty and literally anything she uses I'm pretty much going to buy because her skin is incredible. Um, so yeah, I ordered these about three weeks ago really really glad I did I hadn't been using any exfoliating products for quite a while I'd got quite lazy um and I think there'd probably been quite a lot of build-up of dead skin and stuff on my face which is gross ever since I've started using these my skin has been a lot more glowy um I had been starting to get a few breakouts around here before I started using these and those have disappeared so yeah this is definitely good investment for me so another product that i have not been able to live without quarantine or not is lush's dream cream i have very very dry skin and i've had eczema since i was like three years old um and i came across it one day after trying literally tens of probably hundreds of products for my eczema that have never worked and this stuff cleared it up within a week not even oat milk is one of the main ingredients in this um, and that's really really calming for the skin and helps restore the skin's ph levels so that if you do have any inflammation or irritation that will help bring them down it doesn't have a really strong smell like some medicated stuff does i would just recommend this to anyone that has any dry skin conditions i it's four pound a pot you can't really go wrong even if you're just trying it out Normally where I get eczema, I am now eczema free, as you can see. Yeah, I ran out of this at the beginning of quarantine and I couldn't get any of it for about three weeks. Um, and my eczema went mad. Like it really showed me that you don't know what you have until it's gone because I was absolutely crying out for this. So much so that I ordered four pots of it so that I wouldn't run out again. Carrying on with the eczema related products that I'm clearly going on a tangent about in this video is the Aven Soothing Eye Contour Cream. This is something that I ordered on a whim. Uh, I've used Aven before, uh, one of their body creams, which helped my eczema a little bit. So I thought I would give this a go. I normally get eczema like kind of here and above the eyes, um, which is obviously really annoying. Even though I hadn't been wearing makeup, it was still being quite prevalent. So I ordered this and it's actually been really nice. I found that I can bring it up quite close to the eye. I know you're not supposed to, but that's where my eczema is. Um, and I've put a little bit of it above the eye as well. And it's pretty much gotten rid of any eczema dry skin that I've had around that area. So yeah, I really love this. I've been using it every day and I don't even think it's halfway run out. And I've had this for two months, maybe. So yeah. Really good. And the last product I want to quickly talk about is the Glossier Rose Balm.com. I think most people will have probably tried something from Glossier by now, but if you haven't, it's kind of between high end and high street. It's kind of in the middle. I mean, this is their uh, lip balm and this is £10, which obviously more expensive than high street ones you'll be able to get. But with this one, it has beeswax and lanolin. So they are actually really moisturizing for the lips compared to some high street ones that will be formulated with just petroleum jelly which actually just sits on top of the lips and doesn't help to give it any moisture so yeah i've used nearly all of this um and i ordered this probably about two months ago i don't feel like i need to apply it more than once a day i feel like once is enough and it doesn't kind of wear out that much throughout the day it just keeps my lips really hydrated this has a really nice scent it's not too strong um i'm not a massive fan of rose i feel like it can be quite hit and miss um but this one's just a really nice soft scent. I don't feel like it's so strong that it hits me in the back of the throat like some products do. So yeah, I will definitely be repurchasing another one of these when I'm done. My mum's actually uh, now gone and ordered one as well. Apparently I've influenced my own mother. But yeah, those are the products that I have been using in quarantine. Um, I hope you enjoyed me rambling for probably about 10 minutes on products. If you're interested in watching any more videos in our top drawer series, there'll be a number of them going up on the website and on our social media in the next few days. So keep your eyes peeled and yeah, see you then.